Hello everyone, and welcome to another devlog for our game, Alpaca Rancher. Today, I wanted to show you the work that we've done for our first NPC village. The idea was to create a camp of NPC explorers as one of the key points of interest within our crystal biome. I was quite inspired by the vintage safari outfits and wanted the NPCs in this camp to wear something similar. I started out by creating a male and female outfit for our explorers. I then created five NPCs to start with. We will likely have a few more in the final camp, but this many will do for now. Since this is a temporary expedition, it didn't make sense for the NPCs to be living in a permanent structure. Therefore, I started experimenting with a few different types of tents for the camp. I finally landed on this style of tent. I feel it's a mixture of a medieval tent with that vintage safari feel we were discussing earlier. I plan to make a few more variants of the tents for the final game to diversify the scene. Next, it was time to create some scatter for the camp. I thought of items that would fit well within the camp and created a barrel, telescope, and a campfire. I wanted the fire to feel a bit more alive, so I created a basic flame animation. James, our programmer, also added a particle effect. With the camp coming together, I set out to flesh out the crystal biome a bit more. I created the tree for the crystal biome. For once, I actually thought to record myself as I was creating the art. This is what the tree turned out to look like. The bush was also created. I also created the forageable fruit for this zone. We haven't decided if we will have real world fruit names like apple or made up names for the game yet. I moved on to create a set of cliff tiles so that we could have multiple height levels within our game. We also discussed implementing caves within this biome. We're still working to fully scope that system, but we plan to have several small cave systems for the player to explore. These caves will also have opportunities to mine various resources. Speaking of, we scoped a mining system for the player as well. We are still working to create the actual nodes for mining, as well as the mining animations. We also spent some time scoping what the edge of the map would look like. One of the options that we came up with were these border trees. What's shown here is only the first pass to prove the concept. We will be adding more detail to the art later. Next, we spent some time planning out the game UI. Currently, we plan to contain most of the menus within a player journal or book. The book will be accessible by the tab button, or the player can navigate to a specific page or menu by pressing a hotkey. For example, the I key may take you to your inventory. We're still working to finalize this. This is the first draft of the book that we created. We will continue to add more detail to the book in the future, as well as finalizing the interior UI. Thanks so much for watching our devlog. We hope you enjoyed seeing our first draft of the Explorer Camp. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the final version of the camp, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you'd like to wishlist our game, please click the link in the description. Comments and feedback are appreciated. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing.